How's it going, YouTube? Dylan here. In this video, we're going to talk about whether certificates in software engineering are worth it. So the reason for making this video is I recently took the Meta iOS Developer Certification. You know, I got a question on one of my videos asking about it, and I wanted to give my opinions after actually taking the course. So, in general, just to summarize this video for people who don't want to sit through this video, I do think that certificates have their place but it will never be as good as doing a traditional degree like a computer science degree or a computer engineering degree because the main thing is when you have something that has a low barrier to entry and everybody can take it and everyone gets the same skills right so the more barriers to entry there are in anything the more that it's going to be more of a resume standout as opposed to see your typical certificate right so let's get it a little bit into the details of why this might be the case so we'll take an example of the course that I actually took which is the meta uh, iOS developer certification it costs around fifty nine dollars a month now assuming that you've never done any sort of programming in your life it would typically take you around six months or so so your total cost of entry comes out to around like two hundred three hundred dollars or so right that's something that everybody can afford even if you're in a third world country it might be a little bit more difficult but you can still afford it right so as a result it's very accessible to a lot of people who are learning the uh, material taught in these courses right so that's kinda why I don't really recommend it but we'll go into detail on who certificates are actually for right so in my opinion, I do think that certificates are a better place than, you know, taking your random Udemy courses. Now, what's the reason for this? Well, one, it's a very, very structured and organized way to learn how to do development, right? And I think that's one of the benefits to certifications is that just the organizability as opposed to taking random Udemy courses and you don't really get any sort of credential afterwards then I can really see where a certificate would really really be valuable in that case but if it's something that you're gonna put on your resume and it's going to the purpose of it is to have that as a replacement for your education don't really think it's the smartest thing to do right because certificates won't get you a job what will get you a job is the projects and the work experience, right? Especially nowadays, I talk a lot about this, but you want to be doing freelancing. You want to build your own projects because that's not only going to help you learn to develop faster as opposed to these courses where it has a very defined requirements, very defined outlines of what you have to do where part of the challenge of software engineering in the first place is solving vague problems and turning it into a solution right so now that you kinda get a gist on whether you should take a certification or not let's go a little bit into the details on the actual certification itself and if I would recommend it if you're in a case where you know you want a structured and organized way to learn how to code would I recommend for example the meta <coughs> excuse me iOS developer certification and I actually do you know, I think it's a really good option, especially if you're an entry-level developer or you want to be an entry-level developer because it really equips you with all the skills that you need to become an entry-level developer. So in that course, things are taught such as uh, all about Swift UI, all about parsing a JSON, all about core data, you know, and building out these random projects. I think all of these are really, really good options when it comes to uh, learning iOS development because it basically talks about all the concepts you might come into play when it comes to iOS development. Now there are some things that weren't covered, right? So authentication was one of them, you know, working with Firebase or any other uh, online certification. You know, that wasn't really covered. Design patterns like MVVM, MVC, MVP wasn't really covered, right? But if you wanted the meat and potatoes of it, I do think that it's a good option. It's not the best option out there, but it's a pretty good option, 
right? So if you're in a position where you've never coded a line of code in your life and you're looking to actually learn how to code and get something tangible at the end, yes, these meta courses are a pretty good option, but I wouldn't do them in lieu of a, say, a computer science degree, right? If you can afford it, I recommend that you go for that. Otherwise, you know, if it's just not viable, I know, especially in the U.S., school is very, very expensive. You know, I've heard that it's like 40 grand a year, and obviously not a lot of people want to take on debt or have, are in the position to invest the amount of time it requires to get a degree like that. So I understand where you're coming from, but just keep in mind that doing computer science is the best option, but certifications are okay, right? So that's kind of the conclusion of this video, is that if you want kind of a structured way to learn how to code, it's a good option. It's not the best option, but it's an accessible option if you don't have the bandwidth or the time or the money to go to school for that or boot camp, right? So if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe as it really helps support the channel and lets me know that you enjoy content like this. And without further ado, I'll see you in the next video.